in education, we need to focus on all the things that machines can't do or things that machines shouldn't do. And of course, those are all the things that are the murky territory of human only things. Uh, intuition, imagination, creativity, negotiation, design, understanding, tacit knowledge, the things that are very hard for a machine. The more of edge paradox, whatever is easy for a human is hard for a machine and vice versa. Uh, that is still true. And we need to educate our kids and our adults, of course, to focus on those human skills. Very soon, I can speak to the wall and say, make a chart. You can have access to anything. And AI will give you answers. And so knowledge and data, that's commodity now. So we shouldn't be bothering too much memorizing stuff for later. We need to work on our creative skills, on our interpersonal skills. It's much better for my kids to build a sandcastle with other kids than to sit there and program HTML. It's useful to program HTML, but it's going to be much more about the things that only we can do, like judgment. Your computers don't have judgment because it's very hard for them to have, to have common sense. Common sense for you is clear. If I tell you that you will go fetch my coffee, you're not going to kill four people in the process of getting me coffee. It's not that urgent. For a computer, there's no such thing. There's no context. Kai Weiwei, the, the famous Chinese artist, in his exhibition in London, he said something to this effect where it's abundantly clear that technology is not the answer to the future of humanity. It's a tool. And you will not find happiness on the cloud in an app or in some simulation. What you find there is an illusion of happiness or an emulation of happiness, a kind of a hedonism. Nothing against hedonism. I think that those things are useful. But we're confusing that with the real thing. It's like saying, I'm going to fall in love with a robot because it's more convenient and doesn't talk back to me. We need to come back to a place where we recognize that our happiness and what we are as humans, it's a lot more complex than those practical things that technology provides us. And in fact, when they provide too much, it's very hard to find happiness because you're busy. You're not paying attention. What AI is creating now and social media, of course, with AI is this kind of synthetic world so that you can live in a world that's made up. What we are going towards is that AI can engineer your environment. It can provide answers. It can take over your healthcare. And then you feel like everything is good, but basically it's just simulated. And what we need to get back to is that people have real experiences with real people in real nature, with real feelings and with things that are difficult. And we have to also understand that the effort of doing something is part of the result. So if you want to be a good writer and a journalist, you don't just buy an iPad and an app that says, okay, enter whatever topic and generate an article. Well, you can do that, but it's the equivalent of junk food. Yeah.